Hello and welcome to Conspiracy Boulder. You're not a boulder, you're a rock! Welcome to Conspiracy Boulder News. Today we will feature our very own Nikki Stone, with our young person's perspective, where we allow our younger reporters to research and report on stories they feel are important. Thank you Anne. I'm Nikki Stone and welcome to Conspiracy Boulder News, the young person's perspective. Everyone seems to be aware of the water crisis in California. But no one seems to be reporting on the train wreck that is Lake Mead. 40 million people are very likely to be affected. 40 million. Yet, home buyers continue to flock to the beautiful Vegas area for low cost homes, warmth, and affordable taxes. Has anyone warned them to investigate for themselves how much water bills and other costs will skyrocket when water levels drop to crisis levels? And what if water is unavailable at any cost? What then? It looks like a crisis is coming to a head fast. Real fast. So, today, we ask the question, is Vegas all dried up? A little history first. The name Las Vegas means grassy meadows and refers to the Las Vegas Springs, an actual oasis in the desert, thought to be at least 5,000 years old. Overuse depleted the Las Vegas Springs and it stopped flowing in the 1960s. Luckily, in the 1930s, the Hoover Dam was built to create Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States. The idea was to dam up the Colorado River and use it to provide water, irrigation, and hydroelectric power to the area. All was going along fine until the 1980s when demand outstripped supply. Drought, water usage, and other factors have steadily decreased water levels. Now, Lake Mead, which supplies water to Nevada, Arizona, and California, is only about 38% full. It hasn't been this low since the 1930s. Alarming. And if Lake Mead drops a mere five more feet, a water emergency and water rationing in Nevada and Arizona will be declared. Good God. Is anyone in the old-fashioned media awake? Why isn't this a leading story every day? How about the Colorado River, which feeds Lake Mead? It supplies water to 40 million people in the southwest. The Colorado River is expected by federal forecasters to flow at only one half of its capacity this summer. One half. Residents of Los Angeles, San Diego, Phoenix, and Las Vegas will likely be affected. In the meanwhile, the Las Vegas Water Department is drilling water supply tunnels lower and lower into the reservoir. A valiant effort but it doesn't address the lack of replenishing the water. Some researchers are predicting a 50% chance that Lake Mead will be dry by 2021. Even by Vegas standards, these are really bad odds. Really bad. It sure looks like Vegas is almost dry. This is no joke. So what can be done? We at Conspiracy Boulder News will say what the old-fashioned media will not. It is crisis mode time in America. Enough with sending our people and money overseas to fight endless foreign wars. Enough with pumping money into helping illegal immigrants. Our own home, America, is in need of immediate attention and repairs. Bring all of our resources back home to fix what needs fixing. As a young American, I see just how much is broken all around me. We are all fighting with each other while our infrastructure crumbles. And it scares me to see how quickly and easily our politicians take our money and fund endless foreign intrigues to the detriment of America. How could they forget George Washington's sage advice in his 1796 farewell address? Washington warned us repeatedly to avoid getting caught up in, quote, the mischiefs of foreign intrigue, end quote. Las Vegas is about to become a dust bowl, people, and we are pouring our efforts overseas. California's drought is catastrophic, people, and we are off in foreign lands blowing stuff up. We can throw money at crazy causes once we get our own affairs in order. Until then, we need to concentrate all our efforts on saving America now. Conspiracy Boulder News will return after this break. 